Matt Reif's looks are talked about almost as much as his comedy, so it's no surprise fans are curious about his romantic life. Even before he hit it big, Reif was involved with some pretty high-profile names. It's not every day that you see a wildly popular comedian who could also pass for an Abercrombie and Fitch model, but that's Matt Reif for ya. The 28-year-old comic is one of the latest funny men to dominate the scene, and since his meteoric rise to fame, he has amassed a fandom that could rival that of boy band BTS. His first world tour, the problematic World Tour sold around 600,000 pre-sale tickets in less than 48 hours, a far cry from the average 70 tickets he would sell per show before his career blew up just a few years ago. As a hottie and a hot-button figure in the worlds of comedy and social media, curious fans have naturally taken an interest in his love life. However, he's not exactly sure why people are attracted to him. As he told Esquire, he does not see himself as the sex symbol the media makes him out to be. He explained, I truly think I'm a little bit better than average looking, but I don't find myself conventionally attractive at all. This hasn't stopped fans from fawning over him anyway, and even high-profile celebrities aren't immune to his charm. In fact, Rife has quite the dating history, having dated a major celebrity well before hitting it big himself. You might have missed it, but Rife made headlines in 2017 when he was spotted smooching Kate Beckinsale somewhere in Los Angeles. The two had a short-lived romance, with sources telling Entertainment Tonight that the pair seemed to be a good match. The source explained, He really is the sweetest guy and makes her so happy. Her entire family thinks he is the nicest and most lovely person. The relationship ended almost as soon as it began, however, with another insider dishing to Us Weekly that it was never really serious in the first place. They explained that the pair had fun together, but whatever spark they had faded pretty easily. Two years later, Rife made it seem as if they had a bad breakup when he advised Pete Davidson to get away when news surfaced that he was dating Beckinsale. At the time, Rife revealed to TMZ that he had dated the serendipity actor for a year, calling their relationship complicated, and explaining that they had their share of good and bad periods throughout. When asked if he would get back together with her in the future, he was very adamant he would not. In 2023, Page Six reported that Rife also had a fling with Pretty Little Liar star Lucy Hale, but not much is known about their relationship. He then moved on to romancing Find Me in Paris actor Jessica Lord, who he is apparently spending most of his free time with when he's not taking the stage. Only time will tell if their relationship will progress into something long-term, but if Rife's recent interviews are any indication, it's doubtful he has the bandwidth for a serious partner right now. He insists that he's too busy to take relationships seriously, especially since he's barely home due to his skyrocketing career. He explained to Elite Daily, I just don't have time. I'm on the brink of being sick almost every day, not in a cold kind of way, but just being run down. I don't sleep. I sleep probably three hours a night, maybe. And then I've got basically at least two shows every night, I'd say six days a week at least. Despite his success, Reif recognizes the downsides of his lifestyle and admitted to Esquire that he's regretful about passing on the opportunity to meet potential partners. Reif also explained to E! News that living in such a high-maintenance city like Los Angeles has proved something of a conflict for his personal romantic goals. I'm such a simple guy. Like An ideal date for me is like, let's just go get some Thai food and then just laugh for a little bit. It seems that the older he gets, the more Reif is starting to think about what domestication might look like for him. However, with the track that he's on, Rife will only get busier in the coming years. In addition to relentless touring, the comedian is also looking to beef up his acting portfolio. He explained to Deadline, I love acting just as much, if not more, than stand-up. I just haven't been doing it as long, and I haven't been able to get my foot in the door as well as I have been with stand-up. Rife elaborated to the publication that he hopes that the platform and notoriety he's built with his stand-up career will help him transition into acting work.